Hey, this is Paul from the Polyverse support team with a quick start video on using Manipulator in Ableton Live. I'm using Live 9 today, but these steps will also work in version 8. I'm also using Live's arrangement view to make things visually easier to understand, but the same basic process will apply to session view as well. To get started with Manipulator right away, simply create an audio track and add Manipulator onto it as an insert effect. Whether you're using Live incoming audio or a pre-recorded audio sample, Manipulator will be ready to use. Hello. Manipulator can also change the pitch of your audio to match a specific MIDI note. This allows on-the-fly repitching of vocals into any melody, sequence, or even harmonies. To use Manipulator's MIDI triggered pitch shifting feature in a live performance setting, just create a MIDI track and route its output to Manipulator. Set the MIDI track's monitor to IN and you're good to go. Of course, make sure that your audio track's monitor is also set to IN. While audio is flowing through Manipulator, play some notes on your computer's QWERTY keyboard to impose pitch onto your source. Make sure to have Live's computer MIDI keyboard switch activated when you do this. Or you can impose pitch onto your incoming audio by playing notes on an external MIDI controller. So if you sing while playing notes on your MIDI keyboard, you can make your own real-time background vocals. It's so easy to do. You can also import MIDI clips or compose your own MIDI clips inside the MIDI track to get even more precise with the timing of Manipulator's effects. You can add MIDI whenever you want. If you'd like to use Manipulator's MIDI triggered pitch shifting feature with pre recorded audio samples, just add your samples to your audio track and set your audio track's monitor to auto. And that's it. Tweak some knobs, click some buttons, and have fun meeting your new voice with Manipulator. For a full walkthrough of all of Manipulator's features, click here or follow the link in the description section below. And if you have any questions about using the plugin, get in touch with us at polyversemusic.com. Thanks for watching.